This is James Helder for AFL TV. I'm in Pondsford, Sheffield today for the Mick Hennessy Show. Fighting on the bill, I've got Lightning and Lenny Dawes. How are we doing, Len? All good, mate, yeah. Good, Hucker. good, good, good. Talk to me a little bit about your fight against Walter. Uh, pronounce this one for me, Len. Sylvester Walzak, I think it was, something like that. Um, yeah, strong kid, tall, rangy, um, very awkward at times. Um, when I was catching him, he was hanging on to me, so it was very a very frustrating fight. But again, as you say, it's good to get the rounds in. Um, yeah, good workout. This guy's ranked a couple of places ahead of Eric Malik, who you fought last time, another Polish fighter. Smashing up the whole opponent, going through Poland, didn't they? <laughs> well, no, yeah, they're going to come and have a good go, aren't they? So, yeah, no, it was good. Someone different, someone taller than me that I very rarely come up against. Um, so, yeah, different tactics. Um, yeah, happy with the way it went. Um, won every round, so yeah, a good, good, clear win there. Did you feel comfortable in there, Len? Yeah, yeah, as you say, I, I need the longer fights, to be honest. I'm just getting on top of him. I wobbled him a couple of times in the last couple of rounds. Uh, but again, he hung on, survived, got through it. Mm. Uh, in the seventh, he looked, like, he looked like he was going to be out there. He was rocking, grabbing. Yeah, on, yeah, as you say, he was, he was running, on. he was twisting, he was gripping me and holding me. I just could not shake him off to clearly get him. But yeah, as you say, I shook him up a few times. Uh, but yeah, again, it's all, it's all learning, blowing the cobwebs off and uh, onto bigger and better things, hopefully, now. Doing a job on an opponent so tall as well must uh, take, a, take, away, take a lot away from that fighting the taller men again in the future. That's it, yeah. Again, you know, I'm always fighting shorter guys, going to come in with the head and that. Um, but yeah, as you say, I, I'd say he was good six foot, you know what I mean? So it was good, good to be moving around with people that and handling them easy because they're going to have longer arms than you. Uh, but yeah, a good comfortable win there. I uh, spoke to McKenzie, we spoke about this before, he said potentially a couple of fights away from a title. We've now had them a couple of fights, this being the third one. Uh, Tony Pace and Eric Malik wins respectively. What, will you sit down and talk to Mick now and try and plan some kind of some kind of date? Hopefully, kind yeah, of yeah, we're going to get some, get some title fights sorted. Um, he's got a big show he's talking about September. Hopefully we can do it then. Um, do you think that's enough time to get something sorted out? Yeah, I would have thought so, yeah. So um, we're looking towards that, have a little rest now and then uh, back in the gym and uh, Firing on all cylinders for September. If I can bring in trainer Ian Burridge, how are we doing Ian? Yeah, good mate, yeah, good. 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 Pleased, how would you assess Lenny's performance? It was good, I mean it took time to get used to the opponent and everything else, he was so, he was so, so awkward. And we knew he was going to time up, we watched him a fair bit and did our own work on him. Um, but he was even more awkward than he looked on the YouTube. But no, once Lenny got into his rounds, sort of five, six, seven on, um, he was starting to get to him a little bit and we just wanted Lenny to throw the right hand a little bit more um, he was just holding it back a touch, which we just wanted it to go. Once that went, other shots came off of that. So, no, we're pleased. It, a shutout against someone really awkward. That's all good. Ref gave Lenny every round. Think that's a fair assessment? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I mean, the other boy was holding on and he sort of caught Lenny a couple of times when Lenny stood still. But, um, no, overall, no, it's, it's a fair assessment. It's a good win. So, no, well pleased. Lenny's talking about September, potentially some kind of title shot on the cards. But that must, again, fill you with a bit of optimism. Oh, for sure. No, it's, 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 you know, Mick's delivered. He sort of said there's something in, on the off him for us. So, you know, we've had the three fights to warm it up. And now, you know, we're looking for something for that in September. And, you know, I'm sure Mick will sort it out. I can hear someone creeping about behind me. Hello, Mick. How are you? All right? Good, James. I'm good. all right. Good, good. Talk to us a little bit, Mick. Not we're so hearing... much creeping. I haven't done... <laughs> I haven't, I haven't cr done some creeping since I was 12 stone. Been a few years, Mick. Yeah, it's been, been a few, a few years, years, yeah. Lenny talked to me, uh, talking to me potentially about maybe some kind of title shot September. Yeah. Can you talk to me a little bit about that, Mick? We are looking at an EU title shot. Um, that was the last title that got Lenny's European title fight. So we are just working out when that's going to take place at the moment. Okay, assessing Lenny's performance today, you must be pleased with the way he's expected to win, but in the manner he's got the win, not, not losing a round. Yeah, I thought, I thought he's, um, he's obviously been boxing regular. And that show tonight, it looked very sharp. Combinations very, very sharp. Awkward customer. Very hard to nail clean. Um, moves his head very well in his body. Mm. And um, I thought Lenny, with his body and head attacks, you know, done brilliant. Very, very sharp. Good jab. Countered beautifully with a, with a, with a razor sharp jab. Mm. And uh, very, very sharp performance. People Sheffield would appreciate the switch of the style and the skilled boxers. So. I think they got a bit of a treat today watching Lenny Dawes. I think, I think a few people come away enjoying that. It was a good trade performance. I know Brendan Ingle, um, who was sat next to me, it really enjoyed the fight. He was intrigued by it, so uh, you know it was a good, good fight to watch. And uh, you could see that, that that kid's, you know, I think he's already took one unbeaten uh, prospects record. Mm -hmm. 
So, um, you know, you've, as, as a certain fighter says, records are for DJs, and um, <laughs> that kid proves it. Is he here, Mr. Record for DJs? Is he <laughs> no, he's not here at the moment, but um, oh. he's, he's, he's here with us in spirit. Indeed, indeed. Yeah. Last word to Lenny Dawes before we sign out. Um, just, yeah, no, happy with the <coughs> performance. Um, as you say, I didn't have many fans here tonight. They never couldn't make it up here, so uh, just thumbs up all you lot. You know what I mean? And bigger, bigger, and better things are coming. Thanks for a bit of time, man. I appreciate it, mate. And we'll talk to you real soon. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, mate. Cheers.